So welcome to another five minute discussion. And today I am really excited to be joined by wonderful Sharon Lowe, who is a global bestseller of The Mind Makeover and a global conference speaker. But together with me, she's also a member of Bowie, the British Association of Women Entrepreneurs. Sharon, it's so lovely to see you here. Look how colourful we are. We know it's raining outside. <laughs> and I need to share that we did not have a conversation about this. This is just <laughs> cosmic energy working on positivity. <laughs> it is. And I mean, that's great because that's really what this five minute discussion is going to be. I mean, I've put some posts out, especially during lockdown, about my vulnerable side. You know, I've had some really down moments because I'm, I'm not superhuman. But I've always thought because I am the motivational person, motivational voice is my company name, I have to talk about being motivated. And some people say, well, how? And I just say, well, I don't wake up and put a motivational coat on. These scarves that I wear don't give me energy. I have to work on it still. I, I have a business coach. I have amazing people that I'm connected to, like you, like the Bowie, PSA, all these other amazing people I'm connected to. And I know who gives me energy because if I'm ever feeling unenergized, I know I can pick the phone up to, to a number of people and just say, feeling a little bit poop, can you like pump me up kind of thing without draining you? And it's just simple things like colour. Yeah. Where's the colour? Yeah. And I mean, but I also think what is incredibly powerful is you and I are both in the motivational world. And what I always say, always when I'm, I'm presenting at conferences, don't ever think this just happens because that's absolute rubbish. And we all have a superpower. And the superpower is that we can take charge of our own energy. And in the book, Vic, I did an entire chapter, which was a big discussion with the publishers, just on optimum energy. Because there's two things we have to know. I think energy comes from within and it comes from without. Well, that's no power knowing unless we know what we're going to do with it. So you've almost triggered that in, in your answer is, how do we create it from within? Well, that's the mind makeover. And I call the book that because we talk to make over everything. You know, you open magazines and it's make over your garden, your kitchen, your house, but this is the most powerful thing we've got. And very rarely, you know, if you think about school and education, does somebody say, you know, I can't remember doing an A-level in how to take charge of the best thing I'd got. And that's my DNA, my vision is to empower people through that. So one is how do you take charge of your own? And you just said colour. There's so many things you do to create optimum energy. But from within, I think the strongest thing you can do is take charge of your inner voice. Because, and this is another separate chapter, we've all got a radio station. And one of the things that I found in my work, and I'm very privileged, I, you know, just recently spoke to 2,000 entrepreneurial women. Well, that gives me an incredible data and research. And, you know, I know it's fact, women don't always speak kindly to themselves, far worse than men. So they're not kind, they're not that inner voice that's a friend. And so much of my work, Vic, is about saying to people, tune in to your radio station. What are you saying to yourself? What's your dialogue? And I don't mean that sort of clever can con. Well, I do actually. But you start saying con, you are negative energy. You say I can, you say it's impossible. You know, when I when I launch the book, and I'll, I'll just because I just love this book, it matches my dress. But um, I, it was my first book. I'd never written a book before. And obviously my publishers were way more experienced than me. And you've just talked about vulnerability. And I think this is a real powerful part for women in particular. But we all have vulnerability. Now, every single person told me that my vision was impossible. And my vision was that my book would go in your magazine. Why? I'm driven to empower people. Of course I want it in your magazine. It's got a readership of four million. That means you don't need to buy the book, you could read it. That was my vision. Every single person said it was impossible. I went in a very famous uh, meeting for me in a boardroom. There were 14 people there, Vic. Everyone went, it's not gonna happen. And they were really kind. Do you know when people yeah. knock you down, but they do it in a nice way so you get a little bit confused. So 
it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Well, because let me come back to what I think gives us our power. That inner voice, I knew, first of all, I knew how to mute their negativity. And we all can do that in this pandemic. Press mute. So they were chatting away, but it didn't assimilate. I then knew that I'd got to build my energy when I came out because that many people telling you that what you want is impossible is, is a hit. So then I had to come back and in my office, I stuck pictures of uh, U Magazine all over this wall. And every time a book was launched, I took a picture of what I thought my book was going to look like and I stuck it on the cover. So what I was doing with visualization, which is another technique, is that I was looking at my vision. And the end result was it did become possible. I did get my book in your magazine and I got four pages. So when we come back to what you were saying about, it's that building that confidence yeah. and building it so that we're in charge of it. We're not waiting for anybody external to do it for us. And then you were saying about your vulnerability. I had certain times and I know what the triggers were. I don't know if you do. And it hit me, it hit me like a wave. And one day I really felt fear. It, yeah. it, it shook me, it was quite physical. And what I knew in my work and you know, is that what I didn't do, Vic, I didn't push it away. And I think a lot of people try and push away. One, they don't think that people like you and I feel fear. Well, mm -hmm. mine was pretty paralyzing, it was physical. But I sat with myself and I was kind. Yeah, we're not very kind to ourselves, are we? No, and, and I think we're not. Um, what I do want to do, because we've gone over the five minutes, because we, you and me could talk for hours, I know we could. I want to record another one, which which was another subject we did. So um, here, just to end this one, hold if you can hold your book up again, because you know this the, the global bestseller of the mind makeover, absolutely brilliant. Really, you know, getting inside the brain. So, um, and so you get a free dress. <laughs> <laughs> you don't no you don't you don't <laughs> right i'm going to record another one in a minute as well okay bye for now bye